guys. I'm Bob. I'm Barb. Together we make up Tennis World. 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 Quality family. The highest in Today we are uh, traveling down the road. Obviously we're in the truck. We got uh, Red Billy Jean and we've got Blue Angel behind us. And we are on the road to our next destination in what is season two. But this whole video is gonna bring you a recap of season one before we start showing you what we're doing in season two. We're Bob and Barb. We've lived by the rules all of our lives. But in 2020, we threw that rule book out the window. We sold our home and moved full time into an RV with our cat, Amelia. And from now on, we will be living life our way. Don't you want to come travel in our world? So, how did it all begin, Bob? It started at Couch's RV where we purchased our RV. And spent a couple of nights there, um, making sure the RV was ready for travels. Yep, we definitely recommend that when you purchase an RV, see if you can stay at the dealer for at least two nights that way you get a feel for how it works because it is super overwhelming and and you're nervous and you you know like us we took five years to research it but then all of a sudden it was real <laughs> well we were we were total newbies because we had never uh owned an rv one from 10 camp until uh, this camper we're in now and yeah so we're it was all a learning experience i mean up until that time it was a it was a YouTube watch for us. Yeah. We, we watched YouTube, we learned, and we thought we knew everything, but <clears throat> we found out that we didn't know everything. But that's part of life, that's part of learning. So at the same time, we created a YouTube channel, wanted to document our journey uh, to share with our friends and family, but then we thought, oh, let's just try it. You know, we're not in it for the money, we're in it because we, in, I don't know, we enjoy it. It's our memories and it's also been a way for us to help people and for us to learn ourselves you know creating this community that we have and we've had i mean our comments are from the truck to the bike to the camper yep um and we've uh, we've learned from the comments and we've also taught people from the comments and we've talked to people on the phone and helped them in their their um i guess their journey to get into it this same lifestyle yep so we're gonna one let a, fa a secret fact out right here. We have a lot of subscribers named Tony. We're Tony people. We like Tonys. Um, there's a lot of them, and it's uh, it's interesting. So thank you, Tonys. That's a shout out to all the Tonys out there. Yeah. Um, I mean, so last year we sold our house. We bought a brand new Riverstone, a brand new Ford truck, and a brand new Camban. Uh, they all came in in different months. We didn't register anything. Um, we had temporary takes till we got to um, Livingston, Texas. We became Escapees members where all of our mail goes. And Texans. Oh, that's right. And we worked on our domicile in Texas. And that was um, also very nerve wracking. And with the height of COVID, we could do everything we could except get our license. And we had to wait till January to get our license. But we are official Texans. We can vote there. We can drive there. We can do whatever we want. We're Texans. Yeah, and it was that that whole thing was um, simple, you know. And we watched some YouTube videos, and yeah, uh, yep. it was uh, very simple, really. I mean, but Barb had all she had all the ducks in a row too, so it just made it that much easier. Over organized. <laughs> yeah, but you can't um, be over organized when you're dealing with the bureaucrats. <laughs> yeah, you got to be prepared and be nice so they don't stamp you no. <laughs> So obviously, as you all know, our whole season one has been nothing but Texas. We started out at Escapees. Yeah, we started out at Escapees in Livingston, Texas. We spent a lot of time driving between Houston and Dallas. Houston yeah. and Dallas. We do have some family down there, so we did get to see one of our nieces a couple times, which was kind of neat and fun. So we're yeah. going to continue this traveling on the road, seeing people. But we explored thousand trails and a couple of encores while we were down there and this first year we planned our trip around where we knew we could stay based on our plan yeah well we yeah we based it around our membership with thousand yeah. trails which, yeah. which for texas it worked out very well because there's a lot of um thousand trails in the middle of texas i'll call it the middle of texas because texas is a big state 
Lake Texoma. Colorado River RV Park for Thousand Trails. Thousand Trails Lake Takami in Point, Texas. Thousand Trails Lake Medina. Welcome to Tropic Winds Thousand Trails RV Resort in Harlingen, Texas. Lake Conroe Thousand Trails RV and Resort. Touring Lake Whitney Thousand Trails. And it, it worked out real well. We learned the rig. We learned how to hook up. We learned how to dump sewer. I mean, we just did the whole game, and I mean, yep. it was all learning for us because we had never done it before, and um, so it, it 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 worked out real well having that membership where we can bounce around and learn. I'm really sorry to interrupt you, but we have um, somebody here that is interested in being seen and heard. Yeah. Amelia, do you want to talk about your time on the road? No. You want to talk? Oh, yeah. What else? What else happened? What else happened? You got more to say? That's it? She's tongue-tied. <laughs> she became an RV uh, kitty cat, no problem. Yeah. Um, we were worried. We didn't know how that was going to work, you know, traveling with her. But we found a vet down in Livingston for her. She got, yeah, and she got her uh, appointments and her shots, yeah, and we had her medicine. Um, or flea medicine, I guess, or whatever you want to call it. But she's adjusted pretty well. I mean, she's pretty much an inside kitty, and she has gotten used to people showing up and coming in the camper. She can't hide from them. There's no place to hide. So she'll sit there and be like, mm -hmm, you know, while you pet her, and then she'll give you a little, but it's she's, just a, a silent hiss. She's done pretty well on the road. I mean, yeah. she never was a big car riding her, no, her she's type. Just, a car riding kitty cat cry all the time and um, she um, she has really adjusted she cried a little bit at the first you know but now she's uh, pretty quiet she might start out with a little couple whimpers and then yep. she realizes she's in the truck for a while so let's talk a little bit about um what well, we learned a lot about thousand trails we knew going in that all thousand trails weren't going to be as perfect as you might find some other campgrounds um and we knew that we, we watched enough videos we knew that they weren't all going to be you know Taj Mahal's but that's never what we wanted that whole membership to be we wanted that membership to be a place for us to save money yep. first of all and secondly we just wanted a place to be able to park our rig and feel safe yep. and have hookups and to learn this lifestyle like we, like we needed to do and I think we became invested in the Thousand Trails employees that work there, so then we did kind of go out on this effort to try to help improve Thousand Trails, which they are on a path of putting money in some of the parks, not all of the parks. I mean, we 100% understand that it's owned by a corporation. Uh, a corporation that is to make money, and that some properties are not going to get money invested for whatever reason. Yep. Um, but in some are. Some are really nice, you know. Yeah, some are going to get a lot of money. Yeah. On the road, we learned how to make the RV our own home. Yeah. And we learned how to cook in the RV. Um, and we actually use our oven, which the oven works great, just the way it is. We use our improved uh, cooktop. Uh, we use our Instapot slash uh, air fryer. And then we do have a little Blackstone grill that Bob got outside started working on looking for uh, fresh farm stuff and doing our own canning um, and fermenting you know which has been kind of a learning experience for me i learned how to hitch up the trailer slow nice and slow good that's it that was nice and easy and perfect by following our, our checklist back in the unit in which is uh, some campgrounds can be very trying for a unit this size um, so that was a big learning experience for me I had, I had hauled some trailers in the past nothing quite this large as we've said a thousand times in different videos but yeah. it, it hasn't been too overwhelming on the roads of course we we stick we got a, a uh, RV 890 garment so we kind of stay on the main drags that a truck would follow make sure you do a google earth and check everything out just to make sure because it's not always 100 percent correct yeah yeah we do that and then making sure the route is correct um and just the you know the 
the sheer size of the, of the RV, moving it from place to place. But I feel pretty confident the truck handles it with no problem. We have plenty of braking. Um, but some of the campgrounds are just a little trying back in. So now let's talk a little bit about uh, modifications because we, we made did. a bunch of them. Yeah, we made a bunch of them. So let's see what we can think about. We did the cooktop. Let's just start in the kitchen. We did the cooktop. We added a shelf in the computer drawer. We added the two cabinets in the kitchen. We added some shelves to hold my oils. We added a soap dispenser. Um, we added a, a cubby thing on top of our dining table. We replaced the kitchen chairs. In the living room, going down the stairs on both sides, there's a drawer. We added another drawer underneath where we do a lot of our food pantry storage and our, our canning and our shoes. We ended up having to replace the heaters and the theater chairs. That was under warranty. I mean, we did, as far as technology inside, I did, uh, I'm re relocated some thermistors for the ACs. Oh, yeah, yeah. We added a Victron battery monitor since we got two lithium batteries, and we added a upgraded um, charge controller. Yeah. So it would handle the lithium battery charge along with our three uh, solar panels on the roof. We did add vents on the vent covers on the vents up on the roof. Yep. Um, we added a weather station to the camper so we can stay up on weather and what's coming in our future on weather. Yep. We added a sprayer in the bathroom and we added a soap dispenser and we added a fan in the bedroom and a shelf above our washer and dryer. We we also on technology we utilize the wind control and we pay the the ten dollar fee a month where we can access the camper when we're all away from the camper yep. so we can monitor to make sure our kitty cat is at a proper temperature we can adjust yep. temperatures and do all that stuff on the road we also made modifications to the stairs so barb doesn't fall down yep. so on the garage we did add some toolboxes on the garage uh, we did also add the um, trays for the uh, uh, can am to ride uh, without moving around, which works out perfectly. And we put up, we put in the Mopeka propane monitors. So pretty much season one was all about getting the vehicles, getting to Texas, getting legal, learning, learning, learning. Because our new saying is, you don't know what you don't know until you don't until you know it. <laughs> you don't know what you don't know. That's right. You don't. That's right. Until you know it. Originally, when we started this journey, I said it was like we were 24 again, newly married and didn't know what the hell we were doing. Not that we know what we're doing still, but it's learning and we're very happy. We don't regret that we did this at all. Yeah, the, we'll just say from day one, we're a lot more comfortable here in uh, day uh, whatever it is, 360. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're definitely a lot more comfortable with uh, trailering, hooking up. Disconnecting, backing in, up. all the stuff that we have to do to uh, get set up in a campground. <laughs> so, um, season two, we're going to have a little video that kind of touches on what's happening with that. We're very excited. We have a new website that's coming up. So, that's going to have a lot of stuff in it. Um, and we're having that done through Skidoo, um, which I will link all their information below. They are out of New Jersey. And Antonio, who is running it with Dominic, his son, is incredible and has done an amazing job. We have new merch, um, which is really awesome. We're going to have a little giveaway coming up, a little contest that we're going to be working on to challenge you guys. And we're going to work on continuing to grow our subscribers. And we have a full pack exciting venture of season two coming up. And I'm making you the promise right now that since I was new at videoing, it took a while to get... I felt good and comfortable, and now I'm working my butt off trying to get three to four videos out a week so we can get caught up closer to where we're maybe a month or two behind from where we are. Right now we're five, and that's pretty good considering I was way behind. <laughs> so we hope that you like this video. We want you to give us a thumbs up. We want you to smash that notification bell. Bob wants you to what? Give comments. Yeah. And, I mean, comments. really talk to us, guys. We want to talk to you 
you know we want to hear and um when you watch season two you'll see where we're going so if you guys are where we are going we want to meet you guys we've met some people along the way and it's been incredible so remember we're head of swirl come travel in our world bye